hey guys welcome back to the new video so today i have a news about google so google pixel 6 camera smartphone uh, smart uh, smartens up smart sna uh, snapshots with ai tools so according to the news google latest flagship phones uh, phones have an impressive set of, of automated AI power tools to help make your photos look better with smart blurs, object removal and skin tone exposures. While we shall have uh, to test them out to see if they work as advertised, they could be useful for everyone for pixel peers to casual snapshot takers. The new camera themselves are pretty impressive to start with. The main rear camera shared by the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro is a 50 megapixel based with decent size, size pixel well as and an f/1.85 equivalent aperture. So no, it doesn't mean capture as much light as an f/1.8 on a DSLR, but it it's still good. The ultra wide one also shared is mega megapixel and is 12 megapixel and f 2.2 on a smaller sensor so don't expect mind blowing image quality the 6 pro gets a 48 megapixel telephoto with less low quality capability but a 4x equivalent zoom equivalent zoom they are all stabilized and have laser assist assisted autofocus Basically, if you want the best quality in uh, in any situation, stick to stick to the main camera. But if you are sure about your light, go ahead and fire up the wide or zoom. It sounds like all the new cameras features work on all the cameras. But generally speaking, the better the shoot to start with, the better the final result. The simplest tool to use is probably Flash Dibbler. How many times have you gotten the perfect shot but it's not quite sharp. The Pixel camera will automatically always capture multiple exposures. It's part of the ordinary process of taking picture now and combine the main shot from one camera with a clear shot of the face capture with, the, uh, with another to do it. You just tap on a shot in your gallery that isn't quite sharp and if there's a face dibbler option, boom.